So today's Monday Musing is all about change. How do you cope with change? How do you understand change? How does it affect you? Because some people thrive on change and some people just internalise it and just don't cope. They don't manage when things alter in their life, in their work, in their community, in their home. Um, if you know somebody very well in your household, you will know how they cope with change and how they don't cope with change. Some of us will thrive. For myself, um, I like change. I like to be given a challenge. I like to be given opportunities to develop me, to work through issues that I might have because for myself I find that it, it makes me stronger. It gives me the higher and further ability to be able to work on a deeper level with me and I, I find that it, it develops me, it helps me learn, it helps me approach things in different ways so that I can then be aware of how I might be able to help other people's. But then I also know of other people who really don't cope with change. They don't like how it makes them feel. They don't like that, that wobble that they find in their life. And it then has a knock on effect with everything else that goes on around them. They don't have that coping mechanism. They don't have that ability to, to focus and work with what the change might actually mean. Because some people um, like routine, some people like the organisation of what their life might be. So how to cope with change, how to deal with it, how to maybe get your head around it if it is something that you don't find comfortable and enjoyable and you don't want to learn from it. So if things change in your life, just sit down, sit down, think about it. Maybe write down the pros and cons of what it might mean for you, how it could make you feel if you can turn it round and make it into a positive rather than a negative. Learning to see the positive aspects of things rather than the negatives will have a huge effect on how you approach life in general. Because change is positive, change is good. Um, try and view it as an ability to help move you further forward rather than you being stagnant in the time and area that you might be because it's it's given you an opportunity to change what you need to change in your life so write things down see how they feel work through them talk to others and, and see if somebody else might have a different view on it might give you a different point to to work with and understand how it will affect you so change can be a good thing change needs to be a good thing and we want you to learn to accept it and you to learn to work with it so meditate with it find that peace and quiet maybe take yourself off for a walk and and just think about the the issues that are maybe arising from the change that it is created at the moment we're in a, a hugely changing world a hugely changing environment of, of where we are and what we're having to deal with and do and for some of us that is very difficult because we haven't got our, our normal things that we wish to do and maybe the normal people that we want to connect with but sometimes you have to see the positives out of it and know that when we come through these situations, we will be a stronger person. We will cope in a better way. So look at change. Look at what it can offer you. Look at what it can offer those around you and help make you more capable of coping with things that are maybe thrown at you at the last minute because sometimes that's the way you can cope. It's the way you want to work, the way that you want to do things. So embrace change rather than see it as a negative and use it as a tool to help you further yourself, help you develop on a higher plane, help you to raise your vibrations and give you that option and that ability to, to view life and your environment in a more positive and moving aspect.